Welcome everyone, this is Vedu E42 and this is going to be a series of some quick bites of different tools, weapons and armors and how to mod them effectively. It is something that I've been getting questions about for a while about, you know, what mods should I be using, which mods can I use, which mods can't I use on my different equipment, armor, weapons, etc. And I thought, well, let me go through what I think and I'll walk through various weapons, various tools and tell you what I think I would be using and what you can consider when you're using them yourself. And we're going to start off by looking at the really, really nice auger. So the auger is a really nice tool if you have a lot of fuel and you really need to dig a lot of things whether it's soil or dirt or sand or stone or iron or whatever it can be really useful however the first thing you want to keep in mind is that depending on the quality it has a different amount of mod slots and this is critical so looking at the first level it will have one once you start getting to three, it will end up having two different modifier slots. Of course, they also have the cosmetic slot, so uh, put in whatever color you want to. When we get to number four and five, you will get three modifier slots. On number six, the top tier one that you cannot craft yourself, you can only buy or find it, there will be more modifier slots and uh, as a general rule of thumb the more mods you have even if, even if they don't seem to make any use of put that in because they will if you look at the basic stats up here let me put in this one you'll see the block damage went up I put in one more block damage goes up even more I put in further you'll see that the block damage and sometimes the melee damage which of course doesn't matter for the auger will also go up so the more mods you have the more effective it will be regardless of mod, what mod it is so what I've done I've sort of split them into three different tiers the first tier the top tier is the ones I would always put in if I can the second one is that I would if I could and I have some extra slots that I need to fill up the third one are really more of things that don't really help very much. But if you don't have anything else, then you might as well just put them in because it will increase your block damage. So you, what do you do if you have a quality one auger? Well, put in anything. But what I would normally do, if you want to go and dig a lot of iron, put in the iron breaker because it gives 50% more damage against the iron. Really good. Likewise, if you want to do stone, put in the bunker buster. If you want to do dirt or sand, it works for both, put in the Gravedigger mod. For low quality auger, don't worry about the rest. If you don't have these three, just put in whatever else you can. As you go up in quality level and you have two modifier slots, now you can really start to think about what you want to do. Let's say you always use it against iron. Well, you definitely want to put in the iron breaker mod, but you have some other ones that you could consider as well. For instance, you could start putting in the diamond blade tip mod if you have one and can make it because it doubles the durability. So you have to repair it less often, which can be quite helpful. If you don't have diamonds, then of course you might want to put in this structural brace mod, which also increases durability, just not as much. Thirdly, having a larger tank, whether it's a small one that increases to 50% or the large one that is 100% is always helpful. It just means you have to refuel less often. Of course, you could just put on any of these as well. So let's say you go mining stone, you mine iron as well, then you just put in both because it means that you get extra 50% damage against iron and against stone. But moving up the quality level, quality five, three mod slot, definitely put in whatever you want to do. And let's say we want to put in the grave digger mod. Oh, let's, sorry, I dropped something. All right, put in the grave digger mod, really useful. Uh, if we are mining for sand, for instance, or we're just clearing away soil, let's put that in. Let's also say we have the diamond tip mod as well for the durability. And of course, if you're going to do some iron or stone, you do that. But if you don't do that, assume you're just going to do soft blocks like sand or soil, you could consider some of the other ones. But I would probably go with one of the tank mods because it just makes it easier. And lastly, if you're lucky enough to buy or find a quality six auger, you have four nice slots. So let's put in a definitely, you know, color as a really up to you. I would generally myself put in probably all three of these ones to make it versatile. Then you don't have to change it out. Then as we go towards uh, the second tier of items, if you don't have any of the durability mods, I would take a tank. But personally, I don't mind reloading or refueling that much. Just having to repair less often is probably more useful. So I would take, let's say, the diamond blade tip mod or the structural brace if you don't have that one. And if we then complete it, you'll see it'll do 38 block damage. Really nice, up from 30. You can also see if I pull up the 
8 uh, tip mod, the durability is half. So this one makes a huge difference. This one, the brace mod is a little bit, I think it's an extra, what, third or something. So it's definitely nowhere near as nice. A couple of these ones, for instance, you're not going to use it against wood, but if you don't have anything else, just put it on because it, it means that it digs better. Same thing with the weighted head. You're not going to attack with it, but for some reason it fits. And you can, if you want to heal or you want to have a decrease the, the stamina usage, which doesn't really matter when it's an auger, but again, it's an extra mod. One uh, slight oddity that actually can be fairly useful is to put on the burning shaft mod. And let me do that and you'll see it starts burning. It's a little bit annoying because you have sort of have the flames in your face, but let's say I uh, make it nighttime. It means that you always have a light with you. You know yourself, if you're out digging, mining, and it's dark, well, if you have a mining helmet, it definitely helps. But you can see the difference. This is using the burning shaft mod, which really lights up quite a lot here. If I switch on the mining helmet, you see it's very straightforward. And it doesn't really give you the sense of the space that you have, so it's a little bit harder to navigate with. So if you're down in the mine, this one is actually really, really helpful because it allows you to see a lot better what's around you. I have that issue myself when I'm mining with just a mining helmet. If you get a little bit turned around, it's a little bit hard to tell what's up, what's down, everything, because you only see such a small cone. But you put this one on and all of a sudden you can see the whole area, which makes it a lot easier to just navigate around. So this is definitely something to consider if you're out at night or you're down in the dark depths. But as you can see, it's fairly annoying if you don't need it with that bloody flame in the way. So yeah, if you don't really need it, then uh, put something else, like I said, like the diamond blade tip mod and complete it and you'll be all done. You'll see here, fully modded auger, 738-303-306-7601, and unmodded, 630-33, etc. It basically, durability is a huge difference and the block damage is a difference. So what do you do if you don't have any of these mods, but you have a bunch of the other ones? Well, unfortunately, you're out of luck. These are the only ones that actually fit in it. So what do you think? Agree or disagree? What are your thoughts for mod combinations? If you have any specific requests of other tools or weapons on armor that you want to see me mod, well, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll catch you again next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.